Hi, welcome to a sunny, wet, windy, breezy day in Chesterfield. What we're going to do today is give a quick treatment of cloverleaf blanket answer to the pond to try and get rid of this uh, blanket weed that we've got growing and also try and see if it reduces the pH level. I'm going to give the window a quick clean. Thanks to a fellow YouTuber, Dublin Coy, I uh, noticed he'd purchased uh, a glass cleaner. What it is, it's actually a glass and tile cleaner and it's telescopic. I think it's, it's available on Amazon, but you can also get it from Wilco's and other places like that online. And it's perfect, it's the right length of size that for the job. So we're going to test it out, see if it does the glass in the back of shower and we'll see how we get on with that. We're also going to give the pond a dose of cloverleaf blanket answer. Yes, there's other products out there that do equally do the job. And yes, there's barley straw that does the job as well. The reason why I don't use barley straw is the fact if you have to put it into your pond, it has to start rotting and decomposing before it releases the chemicals into the water to start reducing the blanket weed. In the meantime, the one, two, maybe three weeks, it's grown a bit longer. It then blocks up the filter as such. Blanky cancer, you chuck it in, it starts working straight away. There are other things on there like Resolve and, and that sort of stuff. So we'll open the pot, we'll dose the water and we'll see how it looks and we'll see how it works. Just before we put the blanket answer in, I thought we'd have a look at the walls under the water just to see what sort of uh, mess we're dealing with. On the back wall, which gets the sun most of the time, it doesn't look too bad, it looks even, and it's spread from top to bottom. Around the window where the frame is, you can see the, it's getting fairly longer there, that's where it gets the evening sun, it's spreading onto the window. Then I go around to the other side, that's normally in the shade, and again, it's, it's even top to bottom, no issues there at all. Under the shed window where I did have a line, I've no longer got a line there, and again it's even spread all the way around to be honest. There's a few patches on the bottom, but if you look up to the skimmer, there's a tuft there. So we'll chuck some blanket answer in and we'll see how it gets on. What we've got is 800 grams of cloverleaf blanket answer. It's capable of doing up to 10,000 litres. The pond is around about 10,000 litres, give or take a bit. It's 2,250 gallons, but it's just over 10,000 gallons. But either way, we're going to mix that into the bucket with pond water, sprinkle it around the surface, and see how it goes on. things to remember with clover leaf blanket dancer it will send your pond cloudy milky white some people don't like it but it's the only way it's going to work really once you put this in the pond your pond will go white and it will go cloudy it won't affect the fish it won't affect anything if you've got anything other than 
to put anything other than coin there, try and increase the air flow or the agitation of the water just to help the cycle work out. Depending on your filtration, it will start to clear within 24 hours. It could take up to 10 days depending on your circulation of the pond and flow rate, but it will continue working. You'll see air bubbles start to form around the algae, around the blanket weed, and slowly it will drop off. To recommend a few things, just keep an eye on your filter, especially if it's a drum filter, because you will have algae that's going through there. Just keep an eye on uh, your air rates, and hopefully within a week, you'll notice a massive difference. This is 24 hours after um, putting in the blanket answer. You can see it's starting to clear well, but I've got two filters and a big turnover of water, so I'm just going to turn the air off, so we can have a look. walls will go like a chalky white, as will the bottom. And immediately, within 24 hours, the pH has dropped from 8.5 down to 8.2. And now it's starting to drop off. We'll have a quick look in the filter just to see what What's happening there? If there's any algae starting going through the system, I'm just not the air pump off so you can hear me. There's a few fines that started to come through and break up. I'm not sure if you can see that. The camera can do it at that angle. I'm not 100 sure. But I would imagine it's going to be the next couple of days that this will start to work a bit over time. I'm not sure if you can see this, but when it's not raining, you've got the invasion of the uh, little floating fairies from the white willows behind. And if you look at the pond, they're collecting in the corners while the air's on, and then they'll go to the skimmer. You can see the basket's white with the blanket down so then the fairies are collecting on the top but they're floating around we're now the bottom drain and they're floating in the air you can see them collecting around the cobwebs in the corners you can see the tree behind if anybody is uh, a spare hour if you want to come around with a chainsaw and accidentally chop it down from it would be greatly appreciated. That concludes the blanket answer treatment and as you can see the pond's really clearing a lot better now and hopefully the clarity of the pond will improve. I'll give it a week or 10 days for it to fully clear and then I'm going to check on the fluke and the trichodenia. If everything's clear, I'm going to then chuck some me mediclay in just to uh, help with the clarity of the water and also the fish. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. If anybody is interested in any of the equipment that you've seen in the video, if you check in the description, there's a full list of everything I use and also some links to where you can purchase them as well. If anybody's interested in any merchandise please check the link in the description and check out the store. As mentioned earlier it's not rained for an hour or so so the fairies are floating around from the trees behind. We're going to have that in the next month to six weeks where the pond's covered in fairies and the skimmers do working overtime. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Happy ponding!